Winning Olympic gold is every athlete's dream. It's sort of like the pinnacle of their career. Such grueling training too. And it all culminates with that gold medal. But sometimes it gets taken away. That's what just happened to Russian sprinter Natalia Antya 10 years later. Let's take a look at what happened. First off, Antya has been stripped of all her titles since 2012. On Monday, the Russian runner was officially stripped of all her titles that had been awarded since July 2012 and July 2013. So, a whole year of wins has been revoked from her record. This includes the prestigious 400 meters hurdle win at the 2012 Olympic Games in London. The decision was made by the Athletics Integrity Unit. The organization was founded by World Athletics to actually look into cases of athletic dishonesty. And it wasn't just her. Plenty of her Russian track and field athletes were stripped of their London 2012 medals. Now the sprinter has already been serving a four-year ban placed on her by the Court of Arbitration for Sport. They scrapped all her results from June 2013 onwards. So basically every medal she won from the summer of 2012 onwards is now pretty much useless now. The 41 year old athlete won her first Olympic medals in 2004 at the age of 23 in Athens. She won a bronze for a 400 meter race and a silver for the 4x400 meters relay race just days later. Antje continued her winning streak at the London Olympics in 2012, finally hitting that gold. For the 2016 Olympics in Rio, she was stripped of her silver medal medal for the 4x400 meters relay race. That's because her teammate Antonia Krivoshavka was disqualified from the event. Who knew that it would just be a matter of time before Natalia herself would suffer the same fate? Up next, let's look at why exactly her title has been taken away. Simply put, it's a doping scandal. In 2020, Anya was among four Russian track and field athletes who were charged with doping offenses. They faced charges of using a prohibited substance or method that had an effect on their performance. The athletic Integrity Unit claimed that the cases were based on an investigation into Russian doping by the World Anti-Doping Agency. The case was presented by Richard McLaren, a Canadian lawyer. Her ban was confirmed on the 7th of April 2021 by the Court of Arbitration for Sport and she was suspended from athletics for four years from 2021 to 2025. And all her results from the 30th of June 2013 onward were also disqualified. This comes more than 10 years and two months after she won her gold gold medal in the 400 meters hurdle at the 2012 Summer Olympics. Anya actually said that the decision didn't really bother her as it was in the past and she wasn't the only one who was stripped of her medals. In fact, all the Russians who won gold in those Olympics have been stripped of their medals. It didn't end there. After being banned for anti-doping rule violations, Anya and all the other Russian and Belarusian athletes were given another ban starting on the 1st of March 2022. This excludes her from all world athletics competitions and there's no end date given. This particular ban was handed out in response to the 2022 Russian invasion of Ukraine, part of the ongoing Russo-Ukrainian war that began in 2014. Not to mention, this puts Lashinda Demuse in line for the gold medal, with the Russian no longer holding the top spot. Who gets that gold? The next in line, of course, and that's American hurdler Lashinda Demuse. She is set to receive the gold medal instead. That's because she was the original silver medal winner. The 39-year-old American will be given gold if the International Olympic Committee acts on the Athletics Integrity Unit ruling. The bronze medalist 10 years ago, Susanna Hanova of the Czech Republic would be upgraded to silver, and the bronze will go to Kalis Spencer of Jamaica. This is not an automatic thing though. The AIU ruling against Anya can be appealed. While that hasn't happened yet, it is very much a possibility. So until then, we wait and watch about what exactly will happen to that 2012 gold. Demuse is an accomplished athlete and a 400 meter hurdle specialist herself. She was the world champion in the event in 2011. Her personal best time is 52.47 seconds, which she achieved in Daegu, South Korea in 2011. This is currently the woman's seventh fastest time ever. And at that time, it was the American record for the race. But hey, a surprise gold medal from a race 10 years ago is probably welcome, but there's no guarantee that she'll actually get the gold. That decision is still with the International Olympics Committee, and whether Anya appeals the decision. Coming up, let's look at some other cases of titles being stripped off athletes. Over the years, there's been a lot of cases where athletes have been stripped off their titles or face bans because of illegal drugs. Possibly the most infamous drug scandal in Olympic history involved Canadian sprinter Ben Johnson. It marred one of the signature events of the Summer Games, the 100 meter race. Johnson won the race at the Seoul Games in 1988 with a time that was a world record, but then he tested positive for an 
anabolic steroid and had his gold medal taken away. And then the gold went to American rival Carl Lewis instead. Then there was the infamous Chinese swimmer Sun Yang. The three-time Olympic champion refused to let anti-doping officials leave his home with a sample of his blood in 2018. Apparently, he ordered someone from his entourage to smash the casing of the vial containing his blood with a hammer so that it would be invalid for testing. That's so wild. Consequently, he was banned from competing at the Tokyo Olympics, and that ended his hopes of defending his Olympic title in the 200 meter freestyle. And then there was the shot putter from Belarus. Nadesta Obstopchuk competed in the 2012 London Summer Olympics. Her coach admitted to spiking her food with a banned substance. He thought it wouldn't be in her system by the time she got tested for drugs. She won a gold medal, but of course she failed her drug test. This resulted in her being disqualified from the games. She got a one year ban, and her medals from the 2008 and 2012 Olympics were revoked. Meanwhile, some of Eilish McColgan's 10,000 meter records have been invalidated. The Scottish middle and long distance runners records are no longer valid, and through no fault of her own. Eilish McColgan's 10,000 meter British and European records set at the 2022 Great Scottish Run have been scrapped because of what's been called a human error. McColgan took to Twitter to say that she was obviously disappointed with the news, but she took it well, saying that such things happen. She took a look on the bright side, expressing her gratitude that at least her British and European records from the Great Manchester 10K were still intact. Of course, there's no way to tell if she was angry with what happened, but she was gracious about it on the public forum. This also sets a great example for other athletes. Athlete rage is something that's been talked about earlier, and it really isn't a good look for anyone. The Scottish runner has had a pretty successful year, actually. She won the gold from the 10,000 meter race and the silver for the 5,000 meter race at the 2022 Commonwealth Games in Birmingham. She then went on to add another two medals at the European Championships in Munich, that silver in the 10 kilometer race and bronze in the five kilometer race. Let's take a look at what this human error was. It's probably the most annoying way to lose your records. That is someone else's mistake. But this isn't the first time the great Scottish run has made the same blunder called human error. You would think that they would be more careful, but no, the exact same error has actually happened before too. For this year's edition of the race, McColgan ended up losing her record because the track was actually 150 meters shorter than it should have been. The 31 year old who was the current Commonwealth Games champion finished the 10K in just 30 minutes and 18 seconds, fair and square. But it turns out that the course differed from the agreed plans. Organizers took responsibility for the fact that there has been a major error in this year's 10 kilometer course at the event in Glasgow. Her blunder comes after a half marathon course in 2016 was also 150 meters short. You would think that after that mistake was made the first time, it's not something that would happen again, but it did. While McLaughlin took it in her stride like a true sportswoman, the public wasn't too happy with the blunder. The great run company apologized to competitors for the mistake. Every runner paid 39 pounds as a race fee, and some of them are calling for a full refund. And for good reason, we think. That's a wrap for this video. Do you think Natalia Atnya will appeal the decision? And will the International Olympics Committee actually take away her medals? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.